Hello everyone. Welcome to the module 2 of this course. In this module, we are going to learn how you can set up your environment in order to pen test iOS applications. Let's set up the environment one by one. Let's first set up the ultimate operating system, Movixlow. Movixlow is one of the best operating systems which is used to hack mobile applications. It is specially created by the hackers in order to just pen test mobile applications, be it Android applications or iOS applications. The best part of MobXLow is that it's completely open source and it's built on top of Linux. You can download MobXLow easily for free by visiting this website called as MobXLow.com. So it's demo time and let's learn how you can install MobXLow. In order to install MobXLow, you have to first visit this website. You have to click on the download button. Over here, you would be able to see there's a button called as download using Google Drive link. If you want, you can provide your email address. If not, you can just click on that purple button and you would be redirected to a website wherein you can download the MobXLow OVA file. The MobXLow OVA file is of 12 GB. So it's going to take some time for you to download. Once downloaded, you can install the MobXLow OVA file into your virtual box machines. So let's wait until the MobXLow OVA file gets downloaded and then I'll show you how you can proceed towards the installation part. Hello all, welcome back to this video. So in this video, as you can see that I have switched over to my Windows machine and I have already downloaded the MobXLow OVA file. So let me show you how you can install this OVA file into your virtual appliance. You can either use VMware Workstation Player or you can use VirtualBox. Either of the two, the MobXLow OVA file is perfectly going to work with them. So over here, I'm going to demonstrate how you can install MobXLow inside VMware Workstation Player. So over here, my VMware Workstation Player has been opened. All I have to do is go on to Player, go on to File and click on Open. Once I click on Open, I have to select the OVA file. The OVA file is in the Downloads folder. Once selected, I'll be seeing a agreement which has been provided by VMware Workstation. I have to accept the terms and the conditions. Click on Next. I have to provide the name for the VMware Virtual Machine. I'm going to provide the name as MobXLA. And you can select the storage path as well. If you want, you can give any other storage path you want to. I'm just going to go with the default ones and click on Import. Once you click on import, VMware Workstation Player is going to start importing MobXLow. For the very first time, it's going to show you an error. Don't worry at all. This error is just a regular check which VMware Workstation Player does. All you have to do is click on retry. Once you click on retry, it's going to start importing. Now it's going to start importing the OVA file. It's going to take a couple of minutes for importing. So meanwhile, what I'll do is I just, I'll just fast forward this for you so that you do not have to wait. So I've fast forwarded it and now you can see that it has been imported. You can see the virtual machine name is MobXLA. The operating system it is built on is Ubuntu. As I already said that MobXLA has been built upon Linux distribution that is Ubuntu. The RAM allocated for this by default is 2 GB of RAM. You can change this. In order to change this, you have to click on Edit Virtual Machine Settings. Over there, you can see Memory. Memory, you can select the RAM, whatever you want to. I'm going to provide it up till 8 GB of RAM. Make sure that you do not provide more than 4 GB or 8 GB depending on your computer specification. Do not provide more than 50% of the total RAM which you have inside your system. If you provide more than 50%, your Windows machine will start lagging. Okay, so uh, do not provide more than 50%. I have a 16 GB configuration, so that's the reason I'm going to provide 8 GB. More the RAM, more smoother your virtual machine is going to be. So I'm just going to provide 8 GB of RAM and click on OK. Once I click on OK, I'm going to start to play this virtual machine. So my virtual machine is going to start. It's going to take some time since it's the first boot up of the machine. So it's going to take some time. 
Uh, what I'll do is I'll again fast forward this so that you do not have to wait. You can see over here that it's built on Ubuntu 18.0.4 and once your virtual machine gets started up, it's going to look something like this. By default, the username over there would be present as mobexler. The default password for it is going to be 12345. Okay, it's 12345 all in numbers. If you put the default password 12345, this would be the desktop which you would be viewing. Okay, now let me just take you a walkthrough to the MobXler operating system. What tools does it include and everything? So over here at the bottom, you can see there's a start menu. Inside the start menu, we have certain options. We have the favorite section. Inside the favorite section, you can see that Terminal Emulator has been installed. Android Studio has been installed. Bob Suit. We all know that Bob Suit is a tool which is used to capture the requests and the response and play with them. It is, it, it is already installed. Obviously, the community version is installed for it. MobSF. MobSF is an automated tool. We are going to learn more about MobSF in the upcoming sections. Okay, you have uh, JDEX. JDEX is an APK static analyzer which is used for Android pen testing and Android. Uh, analysis. You have Ghydra, which is a reverse engineering tool. You have Grapefruit. Grapefruit is one of the best iOS instruments. We are going to learn about Grapefruit as well. And you have Runtime Mobile Security application as well. Okay, so these are some of the default applications. Inside the Android zone, you can see that there are different types of Android applications which are available over here. You can see Android CLI, Android Studio, DB browser for SQLite, Frida, JDEX, JDGUI, Mara Framework, MobSF, etc. So these are all the different Android related tools. Since we are inside iOS pen testing, let's quickly have a look inside the iOS zone as well. So inside the iOS zone, you can see that we have Bob Suit, which has been installed. We have Cydia Impactor. We have FileZilla. FileZilla is an FTP client, which is used to uh, you know, extract uh, IPA files or so extract any documents from the from the iOS device. You have Grapefruit, which is an instrument for iOS. You have MobSF, Objection, Putty. Putty is again uh, SSH server. Using Putty, you can connect to your devices as well. And then you have IB Lessing, which is an iOS security exploit toolkit. Okay, so these are some of the different tools which comes pre-installed. You have another zone called as the security zone wherein you have Mobsuit, Root Terminal, SQL Map, Terminal Emulator, Wireshark. So these tools again will are going to help you inside your Android and iOS pen testing as well. And then finally you have the internet section wherein you have all the different types of web browsers available. You have Mozilla Firefox and Chrome as well. Over here you can see I have opened the terminal and just to show you that which user i'm working with i'm currently by default working with the root user so mobexler also has this functionality that it gives you the root user directly the super user mode directly so that's it guys in the next video we are going to learn how you can install your custom mac os inside any windows machine so if you are someone who does not have an apple macbook or a mac os do not worry, I've got you covered. I'll be showing you in the next video that how you can install macOS inside your virtual appliance. Thank you.